The new skill that I want to show you in this step is actually using something called soft select, but we won't get to that until the end. We're going to do a little bit of reinforcing of skills first. And we'll start with hiding everything that's currently in the way. So we'll turn the furniture off. We'll be reminded that these flasks aren't yet part of that layer, so we will select them. We will right click on the furniture layer and we'll add those objects. They will then hide. Now we're going to create a candle for our table. We're going to start with a cylinder for the shape and we'll just give it a name straight away like so and we just need to scale it to a sort of candle shape. I'm also just going to bring the subdivisions axis down to something like eight should be plenty and we're going to use that to help us to create a sort of random looking shape at the top of the candle like it's been burning for a little while. To begin that then we need to be in face mode and we select all the top faces like so and then we're going to extrude them in and then down to get sort of I think it's called tunneling when candles sort of burn in but leave a little bit around the outside. So we'll do Control and E for extrude. I'm going to add a little offset. What do we want? Yeah, we'll try 0 0.3 and then I'll extrude again and just push the inside down. That's going to create the beginning of our sort of candle shape. So then we're going to go into object mode for a sec and we'll press 3, which is our smooth mesh preview. So the top of the candle is not looking too bad and that's something we can mess with later. But we need the bottom of the candle to be flat and it's currently not and I'm going to show you how you can make that more flat. We'll go into edge mode like so and double click this bottom edge and we can give Maya a little bit more information about when we smooth our shapes how much we want them to be smoothed and we do that with something called the crease tool which is extremely handy. That lives in our mesh tool so if we just select mesh tools and go to crease tool and your mouse pointer changes to this funny little triangular arrow thing. It looks like the ship from Asteroids. And what we're going to do is with the middle mouse button, just press and hold it and then drag left and right. And you'll see that goes from smooth as far as it'll go through to don't smooth at all. And in this case, we don't want it to be smooth. So we're just going to leave it there. And that's how we're going to tackle the bottom of the candle. Now the top I'm fairly happy with, so I'm going to leave that alone. But we do now need to go into, I think vertex mode and we're just going to drag some vertices down so I'm going to select let's say these two put my move tool on and drag them down no I don't like that we're not going to do it in vertex mode let's try edge mode so we'll get this edge and drag that down yeah that's nice that is more favorable so we're going to drag that down you can see this is now going to give it the impression that this candle has been burning down so I'm going to select the front and back of these edges and pull those down. Yeah, that's making it look all kinds of gnarly. Same with this one, but I'm now gonna do a couple and I'll probably take these center pieces as well. So I'm just doing like a bigger section of the candle here. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. And uh, we'll get this bit over here. I don't want it to be up too high. And just have some fun with this. So try selecting different edges, bringing them down. We just want it to look kind of random. Like it's been all melty and stuff. Ooh, nice. I'll bring that bit down. Yep. Bring this bit down. Yep. Oh, it's so good. And when you're happy with it, that'll be the time to stop. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's going to be the top of my candle. So I'm going to pop it back into object mode. Press number one. And you see, actually, it's a bit of a mess and there are things overlapping. That's not an issue because I'm going to smooth it. So I'll do mesh smooth. This will just average out those horrible gnarly bits that are too crazy. You see now that makes a lot more sense. You can see that the geometry flows where it's supposed to. Kind of nice. I like it. Okay, so that's my sort of basic candle shape that I'm happy enough with. Next I need a wick. So let's create a wick. Um, the subdivisions axis on this doesn't need to be any more than eight really. There we go. And we're going to put this into place, scale it down, make it nice and tall. So this is just something for our flame to sit on. It's going to be nice and thin. If you want to, you can add some subdivisions and add like a little bit of a bend to it. I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered. Okay, so there's our wick. I'm going to select it and guess what I'm going to call it? But you can't guess. That's right. Wick. And now we're going to create the last shape and this is going to be where we're going to use this soft select, which is kind of the point of this step. 
we're going to then create a flame using this. So let's create a sphere for our flame and we'll just drag it up to roughly the right place. Name it. And under the inputs, we're going to drop the subdivisions down to something like 8 by 8 Nice. We're just going to scale it down a little bit more and just make it a bit taller. That should work nicely. So we are going to make this smaller when it's done. I just want to be able to see it quite clearly. Okay, what I would like you to do is go into vertex mode and select the vertex on the very top. Now we're going to be moving this up in a minute. You can see that at the moment that is not giving us the desired result. We want this to look like the top of a flame. It's just making it look kind of spiky. What we're going to do is turn on soft select which will influence the vertices around it and there will be a fall off to that. So all the closest ones will be influenced more, the ones furthest away will be influenced less. There are two ways of getting soft select turned on. The menu way is double click on your move tool. It will bring up your tool settings and there's a soft selection option here and you can just turn it on you'll see that your mesh goes yellow. I never really use that way. The way I use is to press B and that will toggle soft select on and off. Okay, so this turns it on, but the problem is it's influencing the shape too much. We need to be able to control the area of influence. To do that, you hold B and you left click and drag to the left. And then you can see that that's making, you can see the circle indicating the area of influence. So I'm just going to let it go to about there, I think. So yellow influences a lot, all the way through to black, which is hardly influencing at all. And then if it's still in blue, it's not being influenced even a little bit. And then we're just going to drag that up. And that will give it a more flamey shape overall. Then I'll press B to toggle that off. I'll go into object mode. And I'm just going to scale and position this flame so that it makes a bit more sense. Happy days. Just drop that down a touch more. Ho <laughs> ho Lovely. Right. It's now up to you what you do. I'm going to pop these into a group, I think. You can parent them if you want. So everything's selected. Control G and I'm going to call it Candle Group. I will then just get my pivot so that it's down at the bottom. So I'm going to do D and V on my keyboard and then move the pivot all the way down. And that's ready to go. In the next step, According to my notes, we're going to be creating a candle holder. So I will see you in the next step for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.